If you lived in Lebanon County, what would you do to make this community more active? What can Lebanon County Latinas do to make their community more active? Tatiana? Or Jose? Well, I haven't had the microphone. It's, it's, it's a tough question to answer, being that. Uh, but I can tell you what we have done uh, in, in Lancaster in order to... The, the, the first thing is the labeling that we've been talking about. It's, uh, uh, Latinos, we vote, we vote based, based on issues. We participate based on issues. We participate based on uh, the issues of, uh, of education, health care, um, I mean, even uh, gender right issues uh, keep us on, on one side uh, or the other of the uh, aisle, and, and that's why the diversity in our community is just as, as uh, is the same as the general community all, all together. We have the Latinos that will be on one side of, of, of an issue regardless of where they are uh, on another. So uh, what, what would I do to, to get Latinos to participate more in Lebanon is this right here. Second of all is get your candidates to knock on the doors in the Latino neighborhoods. Get your candidates. Don't expect any community to come to you, but especially not the Latino community. Go, go knock on the door, honestly spend the time uh, talking to that community, go to the events that are held either at the churches, at the uh, uh, Hispanic centers or the, the schools, and have the candidates there and talk to members of the community and remind them that that's what they're there for. I am here asking for your vote. Go to the churches. A lot of the churches will give you the chance on a Sunday morning to grab the microphone and just thank thank them for allowing you uh, to be there and 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 you know respectfully respectfully campaign in those places of, uh, of worship when you're allowed to do so. So if all you can do is just come over and and share worship time with them, just do that uh, right there. But it's a matter of presence. It's a matter of letting people know that you really honestly care. And then after you're elected, come back. Because we realize that you're only there for the vote uh, later. So certainly come back, participate later on, uh, probably as, as uh, the party, whether it's at a parade, just make sure that there's a float where the candidates are walking, where if there's a... a um, Latino festival of any kind, get, have a booth and whatever it may be, and then participate there. But certainly, um, uh, it's, it's, I think that we've been talking, and I don't want to repeat myself in terms of what are the challenges in terms of participation, but certainly involvement of the community and making them know that, uh, I cannot stress what knocking on the door, the difference that that makes in terms of, of getting someone to participate and someone to vote and make them uh, understand that you have a vested interest in their progress and going forward. Well, I'm not sure about Lebanon County, but if you could take a page out of my book in Allen's Town, one of the things that I have noticed that have made a strong candidate is a candidate that has been involved in people's lives for years, and this takes time. It's an individual that has invested in time in being at every block party, that has participated in boards, whether it is, like, I'm a board member of the Neighborhood Health Centers of the Lehigh Valley, uh, which is a health center that provides free health care assistance to people that don't have insurance, and with people that do have insurance. Uh, the Lehigh County Democratic Committee, uh, the Latino Leadership Alliance, that they focus on education, on getting our, our Latino children to college, and so on and so forth. When you invest time in projects and initiatives that have to do with, uh, with the betterment and the livelihoods of your community, and then you decide to run, that makes you a very strong candidate. Because by then you had invested years in the personal lives of people. Not as a candidate, but as a person that simply says, I need to know, I need to share what I know, and this is how I'm gonna go about doing it. I don't know if Lebanon County has programs where you all can get involved in and volunteer in, but that's a start. People need to see you. You need to invite others that need to be seen just as well and invest the time in. I have done this for six years in Allentown. 
now I've decided to throw my hat in the ring to run for a state seat in Allentown, in the community where I have invested six years of my life, giving up all of my time seven days a week. I received a phone call from two people that want me to step down. I do have a very strong opponent, mind you. He's not an easy target. But they want me to step down not because they don't think that I have the funding, but they know that this community knows me on a personal level. This, if you can take a page out of any book, I suggest that yourself or any others that you know that truly do care about your community, invest time. Be part of the process. Get to know the process and share the process. Okay, basically what I was going to say is based on what Tatiana just said. Uh, the Latino, we really look closely to the people that we vote for. Well, in this case, that's the problem to get the people to go and vote. But when the Latinos see like a candidate win and they don't see it anymore, unless it's on TV to get, you know, any more votes, uh, the Latino doesn't like that. They just say it's like, uh, okay, so if once they win, they don't care about the people. Then why should I care and go and vote again? Uh, seeing that has been really effective uh, is calling on your state representative, having meetings within the Latino or non-Latino neighborhoods, make sure that you have a targeted purpose for them to coming in uh, to meet with you, and then demand tangible, measurable uh, improvements either to your neighborhood and or anything that has to do with improving the quality of life where you are, which also includes uh, adequately uh, staffing and funding schools. Um, I just want to, uh, we've talked a lot about electoral politics but uh, one of the points that, uh, that Tatiana and some of the other uh, speakers have addressed is um, the importance of getting involved in local boards. Um, even if you don't run for office, um, and it's wonderful that we have as many candidates as we have who are running, uh, going to PTA meetings, going to school board meetings, attending, asking questions, um, and communicating uh, is going to help both with uh, educating uh, our community about what is uh, about what our leaders are doing, and making sure that our political leaders um, are responding to the needs of the community. Uh, because if we're not uh, if, if we're not there, if we if we're not in the room, if we don't uh, have a seat at the table, um, if we're not asking uh, the key questions, then uh, it's very easy for the political leadership to ignore um, to ignore the needs uh, of our community. Thank you.